Hi, Sean. Okay, thanks for including your digital roughs. Now, I, I, I want to take a look at both of these, and there's a couple of things. I think that there's some really good things going on, and then there's some things that I think can improve upon. The one thing I really think that you're you're getting stuck on is is the the visual language that you want to use, because right now I'm seeing just too many visual stimuli. Okay, for example, you have the island, you have the the waves, you have the cooking picture, the next cooking picture, the cooking picture in the middle, more waves on the bottom, another kind of wave over here. Then you have bananas and coconuts and shrimp. Then you have the text. Then you have the, do you see what I'm saying? I think that you should really concentrate on one or two visual things and then let the type take over from there, okay? And I see that in both um, iterations of the, of the uh, design, okay? So next, I want to talk a little bit about typography. Um, so your typography, I think that you could end up using, oh, you know what, well, uh, before I talk about typography, let me talk about color. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to use greens and blues in a piece that is um, a warm climate area. So in other words, this is Amethyst Bay. I think, I don't remember where this is. This is St. Thomas, so Virgin Islands. So yeah, it's going to be a extremely temperate climate. So let's show that by using colors on the warmer spect on warmer end of the color spectrum. And I think that's true in both pieces as well. Okay, now typography, I'd like you to take a look at the grid video I placed in the announcements and um, think about reorienting your um, type. I think that this center alignment is, is not a good way to activate negative space in design. And I think that once you take a look at that video, that will make a little bit of sense. Uh, likewise, down here. Um, this, though, this type is handled much better. You've got a widow down there. You don't want that. And then you, you've got this kind of encroaching text over here to the, to the image. So I'm not real sure if you want that to be a straight edge or how you want to handle that type. But again, I'm just thinking that there's a lot, quite a lot going on here. And, and then here you even have the, the reflection. So, so, you know, there's just too much visual stimuli. I think if you, if you, if you reduce it down to um, it's basic communicative elements. I think it will be more effective. Okay. Any questions? Give me a holler. Thanks.